to gain some new straight followers or whatever. So it's like you lose some to gain some. And so it's like if you lose some of them people, they'll be back once they realize that they shouldn't be worried about beliefs or whatever. To the homo talk show team. I ain't going back and forth for no reason. And myself at Troy with music. Little punts, I got you tight. Both Mr. Senior Reed. The game is about punts, I was in bars. And my bars are limited. Joy L in the building, of course. I'm on my phone. I spent my space shit. I don't to And the building. <laughs> 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 Today. A lovely ad by At Hallmark Channel was pulled from the broadcast after conserving this complaint. A simple kiss by lesbian newlyweds. Same sex marriage has been the law of the land for four years. LB- LGBTQ families are beautiful. Hashtag Boycott Hallmark is trending, as you can see. But shouldn't we give them some credit for trying to show a lesbian kiss and slowly try to bring their conservative fan base into the LGBTQ acceptance from, you know, affirmation, you know, I think it's important. Like, yes, they took it down, but they tried, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was important that, you know, they put it out there for that. And I, I applaud them for what they did. Um, I think that this is in the day and age that we live in. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. They put, you know, gay stuff on TV all the time. So um, a, a, a lesbian kiss between two people who love each other, um, there's nobody's right to judge and say anything negative about that. That's they love each other. That's the business. Um, so shout out to you, Hallmark. Um, I know you took it down for your own business, personal reasons. Um, you got to do what you got to do as a brand. I get it. But you did make a statement regardless. And the good thing about social media is once you put something up there, you know you delete it. People still see it. Yeah, so you undelete it. So um, that's what happens when you're a celebrity and you got your business out there or you're a big company. Um, Joya, what do you think about this? I think that is true. I do give them credit for even attempting to put it out there. Because regardless of what is out there for a minute or two or three, like you said, once you put it into the uh, internet, it's out there, no matter where you can get it. But I give them the credit, and we do have to respect that it's their money. We can't, you know, mess up their business, so they have to do what they have to do for keeping their brand going strong. But I do give them kudos for at least attempting to get it out there and show that I'm trying to be I'm for you. I like that. Thank you. You know what? I mean, we think about if people band together, especially black people, you know, and use that power like they did. Come on, imagine what we can do in this world, please. Um, Bus, what do you think about that, Bus Clown? I saw your face when you were talking about it. What do you think? Uh, I think that it was a great gesture um, for them to. The world is changing. Y'all know that. Y'all see it every day. It's changing. Um, family Guy, you see gay stuff on Family Guy, you see gay cartoons. Um, I didn't see that back in the day. Um, never seen that at all. So the fact that they're thinking like, you know, let, let's try this out. And, you know, for their business, they had to take it down. But I appreciate the effort that they took. These somebody's in the chair standing up for our community. Yep, uh, you got that part right. I really appreciate that. And um, say you agree. Say the best for us, of course, because, you know, we got a lot of talking you're getting ready to do. Can you tell us what you think about this? I mean, it was a nice gesture. Um, but I feel like why did they have to take it down? Because it's like once it hits the Internet, it doesn't really disappear. Somebody not already screenshotted it. Somebody did not already, you know, save it somewhere. Um but I understand why they felt like they needed to take it down because they felt like they were going to lose the, um, some of the people that are their, you know, their loyal fan base. But at the same time, just like with our network, our network is mostly the gay you know, community, and they they they, they know our network for you know the you know the real nice sex scenes. And we lost some people once we started doing some of the straight shows or whatever also gain some new straight followers or whatever. So it's like you lose some to gain some. And so it's like if you lose some of them people, they'll be back once they realize that they shouldn't be worried about beliefs or whatever. They should be worried about the quality of whatever card they're going to purchase. 
you know, they shouldn't be worried about what's on somebody else's car. If you don't, if you don't support it, link that car to the other side of the, the, the room. But right. you go or, for the car that you want. Oh, but or try to understand something that you know you don't automatically know. Like people are really defensive or don't want to, they or want to throw, throw dirt on things they don't understand or don't know. So I feel like it's important to, you know, really just be open minded and try to understand something that you don't normally that you normally don't know. Um, I think that more people become open minded just in general, and there'll be more understanding of things amongst people in general, whether you know trans, whether you know no matter what community you're in, I just think that people don't. Take the time to understand and ask questions about things they don't know. Um, well, they were being too safe because they did two girls or whatever. Because everybody always very accepting of girls doing some like girls kissing. It's like, ooh, they're sexy. Guys kiss. Oh God, they're gay. They, uh, uh, they whatever. You know. And they still didn't have it though. They wasn't for it. They yeah, like, no, we don't want this. I mean, they tried. Again, they, the conservatives weren't here for it. They were over it, and that was that. Like, where's Waldo? When they men approach me, they be like, there's Waldo. They say I look like Pete.